All right, y'all. So, why Manny Pacquiao's boxing record will never be broken after retirement? I heard chilling again, man. Check out the scenery. Yeah, hey, buddy. Hope we don't get attacked back here. <laughs> so, why Manny Pacquiao's boxing record will never be broken after retirement? Well, I feel like this. One thing we know about Manny Pacquiao's boxing record is eight division world champion. And I can't remember how many linear championships he won, but it's a lot. <laughs> but... That eight division world champion will never, ever, ever be broken in the history of boxing again. Hold the record of being the only boxer to hold world titles in four different decades. Manny Pacquiao will end up with 12 major world titles in eight different weight divisions. It's going to take a special athlete to ever even attempt to break that. You know, to come up from 100, I think it was 100 and seven pounds 108 pounds all the way to 147 pounds and win championships a lot of guys go through weight classes but they never win championships you know or they'll go they'll fight a guy who's second or third in the in that weight class but they don't fight the titleless they just move on to the next weight class but Manny Pacquiao went through all those weight classes fought all those champions, beat all those champions. It will never happen again in history. Another thing that I think Pacquiao can hang his head on of why his boxing record will never be broken. I don't think, I don't think there'll be too many fighters that'll go through 60 or 70 professional fights. You know, his, his career almost spans three decades. So it's, it's gonna be hard for a boxer to say, I want to extend my career out that long and be able to do it with under 10 losses is incredible. Uh, you know, that a lot of people are going to say, well, he's not the best boxer in history simply because, you know, he lost so many fights. But to be great in any sport, you're eventually going to have to lose. You know, I've said this before, Michael Jordan lost, Tom Brady lost, uh, Peyton Manning lost. It's nothing to say you got a loss. The only fans that don't accept a loss for what it is are Mayweather fans and a few other fighters who feel like the O defines them as a fighter. They feel like the O defines their whole career. They feel like the fans won't follow them anymore if they do not have that O. You know, if they if they were to face a guy and lose, then the fans are no longer going to want to follow their or pursue their career. they would just be passe or past 10. I don't know why that is, but it's just how it is, you know. One one more thing about the uh his boxing record. We could we can criticize all day long and compare him to Floyd Mayweather. These are two different styles of fighters. Pacquiao's a very offensive fighter. Mayweather's a super defensive fighter. So I think they're two totally different styles, two totally different personalities, come from two totally different walks of life. He brought me to the United States 20 years ago and arranged my introduction to my trainer, Freddy Roach, at Wild Card Boxing Gym. Freddy Roach was not only my trainer, but also my family. So the only thing they have in common is they fought in the welterweight division. They fought in similar divisions. So, you know, both of their careers kind of mirror each other when it comes to divisions, but outside of that, they have no comparison. So I don't, I don't ever think people will consider Floyd Mayweather to be the greatest boxer in history. He might be the richest boxer in history, but I don't think too many people are going to consider him to be the best boxer in history. But I think because of the style of fighting Manny Pacquiao did. No one closer to me than Buboy Perandes, whom I have known for almost my whole life. 
He is more than a coach to me. He'll always have a case for a uh, best boxer in history. He'll always have a case for uh, the greatest of all time. Even me, I am amazed of what I have done. And become the oldest fighter to win a world welterweight title. Manny Pacquiao, professional boxer who competed from 1995 to 2021, regarded by many boxing historians as one of the greatest professional boxers of all time. Pacquiao is the only boxer in history to win 12 major titles in eight different weight divisions. He is also the first boxer in history to win the linear championship in five different weight divisions, as well as being the first boxer in history to win major titles in four of the original eight weight divisions of boxing, also known as the glamour division, flyweight, featherweight, lightweight, and welterweight. In July 2019, Pacquiao became the oldest welterweight world champion in history at the age of 40 and the first boxer to become a recognized for four-time welterweight champion after defeating Keith Thurman to win the WBA super welterweight title. Pacquiao also holds the record of being the only boxer to hold world titles in four different decades in the 1990s, 2000s, 2010s, and 2020s. He was named Fighter of the Decade 2000s by the Boxing Writers Association of America, WBC, HBO, and WBO. He also a three-time Ring Magazine and BWAA Fighter of the Year winning both awards in 2006, 2008, and 2009, and the Best Fighter SB Award in 2009 and 11. In 2016, Pacquiao was ranked second on ESPN list of top boxers pound for pound of the past 25 years. Fox Rec ranks Pacquiao as third greatest boxer pound for pound of all time, as well as the greatest Asian boxer of all time. Box Rec also gave 16 of Pacquiao's victorious fights a five-star rating. World-renowned boxing expert and historian Burt Sugar ranked Pacquiao as the greatest Southpaw fighter of all time. Please accept my deepest appreciation. Uh, I want to know what people base Floyd Mayweather's GOAT status off of, of. Is it just his O or is it his actual boxing talent that you think makes him the GOAT? Hit me up in the comment section and let me know what y'all think. I think it's too dark out here to keep filming, so I'm going to leave it there. Pacquiao is the greatest, man. Y'all let me know what y'all think.